Hello and welcome to my F124 driver career mode here today for part 20 and round 2 of the 2025 Formula 1 season. We're here in Australia after coming off the back of a great race in Jeddah to start off the season. We come into qualifying now where we made our debut here in Australia last season in Formula 1. We come through the final corner now and make a big mistake. Coming out of the final corner now, we have a big pump buffer up to the line. We go and we cross it and we're up into P5 to find our teammate. But as we skip on to the end of qualifying, we're being pushed around the final sector by someone behind us. And we've dropped all the way down to P13 and we're not improving. This is where we made the mistake into the last couple of corners. We've found the time but we've run wide, we've lost it again. We're not going to improve and we're going to be starting the race P13. Few places embrace Formula One like Melbourne. It is a truly brilliant sentence to say. Welcome to the Australian Grand Prix. It's a relatively new look at Albert Park after its 2022 redevelopment. Turns 1, 3, 6 and 13 are all wider than they once were. We have thrown turns 9 and 10 into the bin. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Oscar Piastri lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who will start from P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Fernando Alonso, Perez, Norris, Russell, Leclerc, Stroll, Sainz, Ocon, Albert, Hamilton, Brown, Ricardo, Sonoda, Gasly, Hulkenberg, Sargent, Bottas, and Joe Guan Yu. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Here we go then, the formation lap is underway and the track temperature looks warm and that may or may not play into some of the team's hands for today's race. As the cars make their way back to the starting grid to form up and get ready for lights out, Let's hope the race ahead today is a thrilling one that will go down as a memorable Grand Prix in history books. So we've got points on debut here in our first race of Formula 1 last season. Can we get points again? We are racing in Australia. We've got a lot of wheels going, but we've still got an OK start. We're all ready side by side with our teammate as we go into turn 1. We really have to back off. We're going to get the back of the Alpine. Because now we've run a bit wide. And leads out to our teammate yet again with... Albon, we're now side by side of Yuki Tsunoda. Yuki tries to go to the outside of us, we force him wide, and he has to back out of it. As we haven't had the best starts, we've stayed where we are in P13. Albon stays P12 where he started. As we skip on towards the end of the first lap, we're into the final sector. We're all over the back of our teammate now, going into the new part of the track. Down the inside, we're going to go on Albon. But we can't get the traction out of the corner. Albon is on four now. As going into the final couple of corners, we're going to send it down the inside again. But once again, we can't get the traction out of the corner. And Albon hands on once again. Now, on to lap three. This is just in front of Albon, Lewis Hamilton. As there's a lock up, there's a lock up. It's, it's Aston Martin of Lance Stroll has, has had a big lock up there and that set a couple of us free as we're having a look at Lewis Hamilton as we've got past our teammate Albon and now Hamilton's having a go at 
Carlos Sainz is Mercedes replacement as we go through the quick chicane we are getting closer and closer as so is Lewis Hamilton Hamilton tries to go to the outside of Carlos Sainz Carlos Sainz pushed him wide but that's opened the door for us to get up the inside of the Spaniard who we had a great battle with in Jeddah last time out Hamilton through we are through Sainz has lost two places now can Albon get down the road and past him we going down straight now Carlos Sainz is going to have a go to try and get us back here he's going to go to the inside he's going to run out of straight and straight line speed he's now pulled himself on the inside and Albon has done him around the outside Albon's up a place and now we're hunting after Lewis Hamilton who's looking for a much better race for Ferrari in his second race as we go right round the outside of him like he's not even there but yeah Hamilton hoping for a better race after Saudi there's questions if he has made the right choice so far but it's still early on in the season but we keep him behind for now as we head into the final couple of corners we've taken a big chunk of curb and ran wide Hamilton's going to go to the outside of us he's driven into the side of us there's a bit of from wing damage, I think for Lewis Hamilton's car, I think an empire went flying up into the air. Hamilton though has made contact with us, has just up the road. The Red Bull of Sergio Perez is pulling over to retire from the Grand Prix. Sergio Perez's day is done. This is a replay of what happened with Lewis Hamilton. He goes for a gap and he does hit us. And you can see the end plate there go flying off the Ferrari. I think we've got away with no damage, but Lewis Hamilton here must have big damage as he comes under threat from Carlos Sainz. We started to pull away from the Ferrari as now they're all queuing up behind Lewis Hamilton. To the outside goes Carlos Sainz. Can he do Hamilton round the outside? Yes, he can. Great move by Carlos Sainz. Or he tried to. He nearly, nearly got the job done. Hamilton though hangs on but now to the outside Carlos Sainz is going to try again this time though it is job done he is past the Ferrari and now he can get down the road and after us but hopefully we can keep the gap you can see the end plate damage to the left side of that Ferrari front wing and now Albon is going for it on Lewis Hamilton and he's got the job done on the Ferrari and Albon's through and now he can challenge Carlos Sainz maybe Sainz isn't really catching us because now he might come under pressure from Yuki Tsunoda in the RB there's also Esteban Ocon in the background as there's a lock up for Yuki Tsunoda he's gone straight on and that's allowed Ocon to go straight through there and pass as now Ocon on the back of Lewis Hamilton Hamilton must have some some severe front wing damage because he's dropping like a stone it was looking good for him earlier in the opening couple of laps as now this is Sainz going for it on Albon as Albon got past him and Albon gets the job done and keeps him behind as now lap 9 this is Yuki Tsunoda after making that mistake has caught the back of Lewis Hamilton and gone straight round the outside of him at that picture cane it's a great move by Yuki Tsunoda because now this is Carlos Sainz coming back at Albon here we've disappeared miles down the road really as there's Sainz he's done Albon round the outside we've really made a big step with the car this season this would not have been possible last season Albon though is going to have him back he's saying to Sainz if you want to do me round the outside I'll do it straight back to you and has re-overtaken the Spaniard but now Carlos Sainz is coming back for another go round the outside goes Carlos Sainz and he gets the job done on Albon this is turning into a great little battle because now they head down towards turn 1 lap 13 Sainz is cracked under the pressure and he's locked up and Albon is through and now he might be vulnerable going down the they are rushed straight to Yuki Tsunoda who's having a look to the outside but he's just run out of straight there as we skip on to the end of lap 13 and it is time for the stops 
as we come in to make our one and only stop of the day if there's no safety cars, red flags and a clean race from here to the end we're going to be going onto the hards, the medium tyres go off and now hopefully we can just manage the pace Let's keep doing what we've been doing since Hamilton made that contact with us we've got away with damage somehow from that Hamilton definitely came off worse and we're having a similar race to last season getting the job to the overtakes done early on, early on and then just pulling away and managing the tyres and the pace as Albon is through he's actually pulled quite a bit from Sainz with that mistake from from the Mercedes driver as into the pits now comes Albon he's doing the same strategy as us but it's really slow it's really slow on the front right he's had to wait several cars now have come through and he's lost out to Carlos Sainz we've had an absolute mare of a pit stop and Carlos Sainz being miles behind Albon is now back in front of our teammate and Albon's got to go again a shocking stops from us but we'd left that behind from last season but Albon says challenge accepted and he's back past the Mercedes pretty much straight away lap 15 and now can he pull away finally from the Mercedes and the answer was yes because he's pulled away big time from science caught the back of this Sonoda Ocon battle and Sonoda once again locks up and he's let both Ocon and Albon through and now can Albon get off to Ocon yes he can right round the outside of Albon of Ocon Albon is through he's flying on these hard tyres and now next up the road for him is us we're having a great day as a team with 7th and 8th this is Charles Leclerc he was just up the road from us with with George Russell who won the race last season he's not having the best of races this is cut this is Leclerc going into the corner he's locked up and he's gone he's beached himself on the curb he's turning and now we're gonna come in just a couple of seconds behind we've lost the back end but we're past Charles Leclerc and we've been given a free position there by the Ferrari Ferrari having a bit of a nightmare race is now this is Albon locking up he's locked up he's gone straight on he's gone through the gravel Albon is driving so well today but he's made a big mistake now and he's going to drop out of the points he has dropped out the points we were on for a great day in, in the constructors and he's dropped from P8 all the way down to P4 15 now this is Fernando Alonso fighting for the podium like he did with us last night in Jeddah but he's slowing down because that Mercedes engine in the back of that Aston Martin has gone bang and Fernando Alonso's podium charge is over then as now we go through and, and you see our gap now we were just cruising really and Charles Leclerc didn't have the pace to catch us that gap was staying around four and a half seconds but up front Max Verstappen once again just like Jeddah dominant performance once again he was denied on the line last season the win by George Russell this time George is nowhere to be seen he wins the Australian Grand Prix Oscar Piastri is going to finish P2 just in front of his teammate Lando Norris we George Russell is going to come home for a P4 last season's race winner and we are going to come home for a very, very good P5. Witness some great battles on the streets of Melbourne today then and they've taken a fantastic win. Well, that's two wins in a row for them now. That's really going to help them gain confidence and start to build that momentum that they're really going to be looking for. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they've secured here.
that's been your Australian Grand Prix for 2025 and Season 2. Won by Max Verstappen in dominant style, just like the last race back in Jeddah. Oscar Piastri getting his first podium at his home Grand Prix in P2. Lando Norris rounding out the podium. Good day for McLaren. George Russell, last season's race winner here in Australia, winning it on the line, finished P4. And we finished P5. I don't think that's half bad. I mean, we were gifted two positions by Leclerc's lockup and Alonso's DNF. So P7 was still a very good result for us in the end if that hadn't have happened. But P5 we take it is another great result for us as the team. The car has definitely improved this year. Albon recovered back to P11. He was driving very well. Good overtakes. Great battle with Carlos Sainz but he just cracked in the end. It's cost us a lot of points in the championship early on. Lewis Hamilton after that contact with us dropped all the way down to P16. He just dropped like a stone. They didn't replace his front wing at the pit stop. Did Ferrari. I think that might have hurt them because because he was nowhere after the contact. Big damage on that front wing. It's cost Ferrari points as well today. Joe was the last finisher of the day. And then Alonso retiring late on. And Sergio Perez earlier on in the race. Max Verstappen then nearly has maximum points this season. If Oscar Piastri hadn't have taken the fastest lap this weekend. It's Lando Norris though. P2. 18 points back. Piastri has jumped us to P3. We're down to P4. But we are level on points with Piastri. He's just got the better results. Albon has a point from Jeddah. So he's P12. Lewis Hamilton in a Ferrari hasn't scored a point in the open two races. It's not going well for him so far. Is his first season in red. Logan Sargent though no, on his F1 return in the Haas is down at the back. P20 and bottom of the drivers championship in terms of the constructors then red bull lead but mclaren have sliced the gap down quite a bit the gap just five points between between red bull and mclaren we are still p3 but we are level on points with mercedes ferrari a p5 moving up with now 12 points and it's aston martin alpine and rb and then sauber and Haas are still yet to score this season. So that's been your Australian Grand Prix weekend. Very good race, very good battles. We just managed to pace and we came home for back-to-back -back points. It's a great result for us. But we go to Suzuka next for the Japanese Grand Prix. And let's hope for another good result. And I'll see you then. Goodbye.